Hey, it's your boy B Qua again. Thanks for tuning back in. So I've been getting this question a lot lately and it's how do I get a job and more specifically, how do I get a job in tech? So today I'm gonna to share you best tips and practices on how to get a job using LinkedIn. Let's go. If some of you guys are wondering why LinkedIn, it's because of this. I'm a full cycle tech recruiter at YouTube and how I source my candidates is using LinkedIn recruiter and scouring LinkedIn using keywords and Boolean strings. Now, if you're not even on LinkedIn, which is one of the fastest growing social media platforms for professionals, then I can't find you. And no, I don't use monster.com or any of the other job sites. Primarily, everyone's on LinkedIn, especially for tech. So if you guys want a job in tech, it's in your best interest to boost your profile on LinkedIn. Okay, so you wanna land your next dream job using LinkedIn. Here are five tips that I'm about to share that you can use right now to land that dream job. Let's go. So first things first, go to linkedin.com, go directly to your profile. As you can see here, I have mine pulled up. Brian Qua, technical recruiter at YouTube. And by all means, this is my personal advice that I'm giving you guys. Nothing condoned by Google or YouTube right now. So my first tip for you guys is updating your profile. So make sure all these pencils right here are filled out. First things first, edit your intro, first name, last name, any headlines that you want to use and make sure it's in line with what you're looking for. So if you want a sales role, just say something along the lines of highly motivated sales professional looking to go into a tech startup, for example, right? Um, this will help recruiters like myself identify what you're looking for if the time is right and um, see if you're a good fit as well. So as we scroll down over here, we can go to experience and this is crucial. Make sure everything is filled out just as much as you would fill out your resume. This should be filled out as well. So my experience right now is technical recruiter for YouTube. Prior to that, I was working for Uber and I was an outbound sourcer. And prior to that, I was on the restaurant partnership Uber Eats team. And even before that, I was a sales rep for Demand Force right here. And for example, when we expand on this, if you look at some of the things that I've placed on my profile, by all means, I'm not perfect, but typically if I see a profile that has um, metrics and keywords that I'm looking for when I'm scanning the profile and it fits my job description of the role that I'm trying to fill, most likely I would give that person a ring or reach out to that person. So if you're looking for a sales role, definitely put down everything in regards to what salespeople do, like making cold calls, uh, setting up demos, or uh, being very personable or um, excellent communicator, right? So these are things that uh, recruiters are always looking for that you can put on your profile as well. Um, make sure to put the years of experience that matches up to your resume and any helpful links too that would help other people understand what you sell. And for those of you that are wondering like how I even got into tech specifically, I, I went to Always Hired right here and it was a tech boot camp. And I'll plug that in the uh, in the description below and I'll make another video on how to get there and how to break into tech later on. But I'll save that for another video, all right? Anyways, as we scroll down, make sure your education is filled out. And tip number two, skills and endorsements. Make sure everything is filled out that is relative to what you're looking for. So make sure if you're going into a sales role, make sure to put sales as a skill. Make sure to put customer service and anything that's relating as well. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my skills and endorsements. And here we go. So some of the things that I have over here is marketing, entrepreneurship, um, things that I've done in the past in regards to SaaS, Salesforce, um, and interpersonal skills, teamwork. So put down anything you think that the recruiters are looking for. For sales, it's a lot of communication. It's a lot of cold calling and just um, being able to execute, right? So definitely put those skill sets in there. And um, as we go down over here, 
any recommendations it could only help right it doesn't hurt unless you have a negative recommendation but um, if that's the case you wouldn't want to put that on your profile right so that's that um, any interest so if you have any companies that you find interesting by all means go go ahead and follow that company and tip number three letting people know that you're open to opportunities and how you do that is simply going right here to the front page of your profile i have this little checked out box right here that says show recruiters you're open to job opportunities and you can control who sees this by getting started right here if you don't have that box you can go into add profile section click on intro and click this button right here looking for job opportunities I'm not gonna click on that because I'm not currently looking. So I'll leave that up to you guys to find your next job. And tip number four, be proactive and build out uh, your connections and look for opportunities. So what I mean by that is, as you start following the companies that you wanna work for, you're gonna start uh, viewing some people that uh, work for those companies, for example, right? Let's just say you're really into Google, for example, you know, look out for some people that work for Google and if they're a recruiter, program manager or um, a manager in your given field, reach out to them, uh, introduce yourself, uh, let them know that you're interested in opportunities in that company and see if they have openings, right? Simply put, right? If you never ask, you'll never know. Okay, and my fifth tip is this jobs tab right here all right so this jobs tab is simply what it is it's a search function where you can type in sales or any other roles that you find uh, interesting and you can also type in the location so with sales and San Francisco Bay Area searched 56,928 results came in and these are some of the companies that are actually hiring and I'll take it a step further. Let's just say you're looking for a really junior role. We have filters over here on the top that you can change. So experience level, hey, let's just say you're looking for entry, entry level or even an internship. Apply that, your search results will change. And you can see that these companies are hiring a little more junior, in, um, junior salespeople. So let's go with DoorDash right here and just look at the job description. So associate sales strategy and operations, you can see that 150 ap applicants applied and this company is about 1,000 to 5,000 employees big, as well as the description of the job and the company, what you'll do, you'll basically strategize, experiment, optimize, um, and build relationships. And this is what they're looking for right here. This is who you should be and what they're looking for. And these are some of the quali qualifications that they are currently looking for. And if it makes sense for you, you can go ahead and either save that so you can apply later, or you can just easily apply with LinkedIn's uh, fu function right here. So as you can see here, you just need to upload that resume and submit that application. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but that's for you guys to play around with. Um, I'm gonna show you another example uh, over here at Pinterest. Let's just say you wanted to be a mid-market sales uh, partner manager. We can go ahead and view a little bit of the qualifications. So they're looking for two years of digital advertising experience. You know, if you have that on your skill sets and resume and a profile on LinkedIn, they'll definitely uh, see that you're a great fit for that and we can go ahead and click apply and what this is going to do is going to bring you to Pinterest's career page and you can apply directly on their site right so you can put your info right here click apply and it'll basically take you through their process right so that's basically the tips I have for you guys hopefully this will help you guys out in your job search one bonus tip I have for you guys as well is clicking this job alert. If you click this job alert on, uh, it will basically allow notifications daily or weekly, depending on what you want 
um, to send you notifications on, hey, Pinterest is hiring. Hey, Samsara is hiring. You can go ahead and save that and it'll notify you directly in your email box, uh, directly in your inbox for your LinkedIn and your messages. And you can get um, notifications for any jobs that you're looking for. All right. Um, hopefully you guys found this really helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Smash that like button and drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And also, if this has been super helpful, if you guys can drop a subscribe, that would mean the world to me and I can continue making videos like this. Thank you so much. Good luck. Hope you guys found that helpful. Smash that like button for your boy. Um, if you guys want more content like this, drop a comment below. Uh, let me know what type of content you want to see and I'll try to produce it. Thanks.